Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. This video is in response to some statements made to a video on punches in bunches. Are they effective against Floyd Mayweather? And this is in response to Coron Bread, a brother who was making a comment that Jose Luis Castillo beat Floyd Mayweather, and I guess he was alluding to the fact that he used punches in bunches against him. First and foremost, I want to say Jose Luis Castillo was competitive against Floyd Mayweather in that fight, that first fight, most definitely. And the data I'm going to show you is going to support that statement. But as to him throwing punches in bunches, Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Luis Castillo is a boxer. Great pressure fighter, but Castillo used intelligence against Floyd Mayweather. Now, why did I say intelligence? You're going to learn. I want you to study him because you learn how to cut off the ring. Now, this stuff you can't learn overnight, okay? This is a seasoned veteran boxer at, in lightweight. In fact, Jose Luis Castillo is considered, besides Roberto Duran and... Armstrong, Henry Armstrong, Jose Luis Castillo is considered one of the greatest lightweights in any era of the world. Okay? So, this guy wasn't just world champion by chance. Now, you will notice Jose Luis Castillo is defensively responsible. Even as he's coming in, he's maintaining distance, he's cutting off Floyd Mayweather. He's throwing jabs, and they scores to Mayweather's body. Jose Luis Castillo wasn't throwing punches and bunches, ladies and gentlemen. This man was doing what we call boxing. He boxed Floyd Mayweather. He was slipping, moving, blocking, and then he was range-finding with his jab, and then he would set up for a punch. Okay? He would set up for a punch. Very patient, very skilled. There's the jab to the pit. There was a left hook that missed. Jose Luis Castillo is proficient in uppercuts, left hooks, jabs to the pit. Uh, he was very patient, very skilled. There he is pushing the jab to the pit. Again, this is a very skilled boxer. That's the first point. This was not a punches and bunches fight. Okay? That's what you need to understand. Okay. I noticed also he was able to land body shots in a clinch, which I thought were good for him scoring points against Floyd Mayweather Jr. So that's just my view on Jose Luis Castillo based on video ev evidence you're watching at in real time. This wasn't a punches and bunches guy. This guy was using his IQ. There he see. Do you know what he just did there? That overhand right was a pull counter. Floyd Threw a jab, Jose Luis, Luis Castillo rocked back, he moved with the jab, and then countered over Floyd's jab. It's called a pull counter. Okay, This is a very skilled boxer. Then he jabs to Floyd's body, and then he comes with a right cross to his, uh, to his spleen area, or just above his spleen area, underneath his arm. Okay, This is a very skilled fight. Okay, For those people who don't understand, you can't just take Jose Luis Castillo's model just like that. Castillo is very skilled. Look at his foot position to cut Floyd off. He gets under Floyd and then he lands a right hook. Okay? Alright, that put to rest. This is not just about punches and bunches. Okay? Notice Castillo doesn't land more than three punches at a time, if so much. He is like Floyd. A skilled boxer. Puncher. Okay? Let's move on. Now, Coran Bread's evidence for saying that Jose Luis Castillo beat Floyd Mayweather was based on HBO's CompuBox punch stats, final punch stats, to boot. Now, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to give HBO Sports all credit for these punch stats and the video coverage you're seeing, as well as say that this video is for educational purposes according to the Fair Use Act. And that you need to go and watch HBO Boxing on HBO Sports and subscribe to their channel on YouTube. I just want to get all of that out of the way before I continue. Okay? I think I'm going to have to do this 
video in two parts as well. Okay, so when you look at the final punch stats, you realize that the total punches thrown, according to HBO's CompuBox, is 203, 203 by Jose Luis Castillo out of 506, and 157 out of 448 by Floyd Mayweather, 35%. Okay? This is their information. And from this information, it says, okay, but Castillo, he landed more punches. He handed a higher connect percentage. He should have won the fight. All right? That's what you would think. That would be simple logic. And also, he landed more power punches. He outlanded Floyd by twice. And he had a good connect percentage that was higher than Floyd. He should have won this fight. Right? Everybody should agree with that, right? And the truth of the matter is that if you looked at Bernard Hopkins versus Jermaine Taylor, the first fight, Bernard Hopkins, Hopkins outlanded Taylor the same way. But Taylor won the fight. Now you ask yourself the question, why did Taylor win that fight? And why is it that Floyd Mayweather Jr. won this fight? Especially that he was the challenger and Jose Luis Castillo was the champion. I'm going to tickle you a little bit further. Joe Liederman. In his scorecard, he had Jose Luis Castillo winning the fight seven rounds to five. And you can see uh, Jose Luis Castillo won rounds 12, 11, 10, 7, 6, 5, and 3. Now, how was that possible? He had one round, a 9-9 nine, nine round. So, actually, it would be seven rounds to four. Um... So I'm adding all of this so that at this point in time, you could say, well, absolutely. Therefore, Castillo did win that fight. He needed to retain his championship belt. He needed to be the person who got the W. It's outlandish. It's outrageous that Floyd won that fight. Okay. So before I go into the second part of this video... And I move on to the second part, uh, part two. I want to tell you something. Total punches landed in a fight and total values in a fight do not win a fight for a fighter. Okay? This is a very important point. Fighters win boxing matches by winning rounds points or punches landed are important for a round to determine the winner of that round this is a very important point I want to make so what's more important than final punch stats is round by round punch stats Got that? All right. I'm going to go on to the next video now.